All right, YouTube. Today we're going to play a Grixis Shadow deck that is kind of a mashup of Friedman's deck and what I've been playing. I've really been impressed with Bobble, so I decided to put Bobble back in the deck. But I also like Serum Visions a lot. So I decided to move from uh, Friedman's deck by adding Serum Visions and then slimming down on Thought Scours so that I could fit Faithless Looting in here. I really haven't had too, too much of an issue uh, pumping out the Gurmag Anglers without the six kind of graveyard fillers, with, especially with these bobbles. So, kind of excited to try it. I changed the sideboard a little bit. I've added a Vendillion Click, which I've liked a lot. It's just kind of a good disruptive card against combo decks, um, against control decks. It's pretty nice because it, it's a flash threat and um, makes my color rounds commands better, especially after I take out a lot of my street wraiths. So, it's just got more targets to bring a creature back. So, so I've been been liking it so far. Um, played it twice today, played two leagues of it today, and was a misclick away from a from a five zero, which sucked. I like I had a lag, and my opponent had a Bloodbraid Elf in the stack. They put Bloodbraid Elf into Liliana, and I could have stubbed the Liliana, but I just didn't because of the like the lag. So that kind of sucked. That just kind of cost me. Um, Pretty sure this is what I'm going to play in the challenge tomorrow. Well, there's there's ten of them, right? Uh, Brunat, Brunarax. I've got four. These four. These four. Oh, I've got three. I've got eleven. Am I going nuts here? I am not going nuts. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I keep switching back and forth between Death Shadow decks, and I get confused about how many are in each of my... Because like I change the mana base to try things out like every time. Um, and I've got 11... Just because I want two Watery Graves, two Red Sources, and two Basics. That's basically why I have 11. I don't really want to cut another land. I'm not really sure what I would cut. So, I guess you can say it's a personal, personal preference. Um... Sands okay. Keep this. Inquisition on one, probably. Gonna be streaming all night and hanging out here on Friday because my wife's gone and my dog's not feeling that well. So, <clears throat> oh, all right. This is gonna be a tough game one. So, I kind of just want to take the bird and then take the cord next turn. Just kind of slow them down. They're going to take a lot of damage from their lands. <clears throat> hey, thanks. I love cookies. <laughs> Your name is sweet. Um, so I'm going to be using my mana no matter what this turn. So I'm going to fetch first. And we're going to get blood crypts. Okay, we have battle rage. That's a really good draw. Okay, so they drew a Devoted Droid. So now we're just going to take the Devoted Droid. And one, two, three, four, five. One short of Anglering. We can't get nasty this turn. So we're just going to play out a cute little cute little 3-3. Three, three. It's going to come get you. They probably play the Recruiter. Yeah. Okay, that's a wow. We're we're drawing well. So let's start off by attacking because we can't grow our death shadow. So let's get in here. Probably gonna discard. I might just discard the selfless spirit because the cord is just getting worse and worse after you take the creatures away from him. Okay, so there's a vizier. Now I'm tempted to take the cord because they drew vizier. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take this cord of calling. And we're going to bluff a stub. Because we, we also don't really have... Well, I guess there's no need bluffing a stub when we could potentially draw Snapcaster next turn and then take a relevant card from our opponent. Okay, so that's what they drew. I don't really know why they, they gave that information away. There's not really a point for them to do that. Look at this. My puppy hasn't been feeling very well. Yeah, he's just kind of lying down. He just had chicken and rice for dinner. So, okay, so they top decked the Vizier. So, one, two, three, four. They actually got the combo set up. 
for next turn. No, they need a green mana, which will be right here. So they can they have the combo set up, holy shit. Oh my god, we're just gonna die to this court of calling. Gross. So maybe I should have taken the cord last turn. Um and we can't we can only do 13, so we'll just pass. And then maybe for some reason our opponent won't go for it. I guess no, that was a super mistake. I should have battle raged. Ooh, here's the first punt of the night. I should have battle raged to make sure they couldn't tap their can their uh they took the cord, excuse me. I'm going nuts. I'm going nuts. I should have battle raged there though to shut off both of their horizon canopies. That was a mistake. I was distracted looking over there, Phil. I should have I should have battle raged to set up to shut off these two canopies. But we're gonna we're likely gonna be able to, yeah, like this is this is a completely asinine attack from my opponent. Uh, I should have battled, like, so I made a mistake. I thought they had the cord, but it turns out they didn't, because I just zoned out. And um, I should have battle raged, because let's say they had the cord. If I would have battle raged, I'd have cut off, they'd have been at two, so they actually couldn't have cord of calling, because they needed triple green. Well, actually, no, they could have convoked with this. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I guess I should have just played that for a good measure, but it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> yeah, I, I messed this whole game up here. My opponent's hellbent, can't draw a card and have mana, so they don't they don't have a they don't have an out to this. That's why you just never chip shot this shadow players. Okay, so against this these guys we're bringing in all of our removal. So all of these cards are coming in. Cards we're going to cut. We're going to cut Street Wraith. We're going to cut Gurmag Angler. I'm going to cut uh, at least one Stubborn Denial. <clears throat> I'm going to cut Faithless Looting because we're also cutting Gurmag Angler. I don't want to go down a card because all my cards are good after sideboard. And I think we're just going to keep cutting. I think we're just going to cut all of our Stubborn Denials and just be like mono, mono removal. <clears throat> well... No, I'm going to cut some Inquisitions. I'm going to keep the stubs because they hit companies. The Inquisitions are kind of whatever. Like, they, they don't really... Like, all their creatures are pretty redundant. Well, no, I guess that's not even that true. But I think the Stubborn Denials, being able to hit, like, Collect a Company, is pretty important. So, we're going to go like that. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. If I... If I play a League of this deck and I like it, I'm going to switch over and either play some Amulet, um, um, <coughs> either going to play Amulet or some probably some Vintage Cube. I think I'm going to Mulligan. Well, this hand's just so explosive. I get to see Visions on one. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. There's no removal, which you don't really like. But this is just like one of those... Those really, really good Death Shadow draws. Yeah, now it's a Death Shadow draw. So I'm actually just, I'm not going to Seer Visions on one. I'm going to hold up Dismember. Because the only way that I could play two Death Shadows next turn is if my opponent, um... If I or not, if I only play the only way I can play two Death Shadows next turn is if I either drew a Street Wraith or Serum Visioned into a Street Wraith. And I think being able to like hit a devoted druid here, untap double shadow, is, is really, really good. It blew. Oh, so this is like the one that top aided the uh, Grand Prix Vegas. I'm gonna just jams a voice down my throat and I'm gonna throw up. Well, so Bobble's Bobble is good because it fuels Grim Flare or uh, Lava Mancer for free, and it um, it's just free. Like, 
I don't really, I don't, it's, it's really hard to describe Bobble's value with the fact that it's like, it's just free, you know? And there's, there's just so much for a card that's free. It just is so much to the consistency of the deck. And here's our plan. Going good. We might be able to, I mean, I guess it's all depending on what we draw next turn. Actually, no, we could just turn three our opponent. If we draw something like a Thoughtseize, we're definitely going to turn 3 him. Because, like, sometimes your graveyard gets two, two overused, and that's why I've only got three Snapcaster Mages in the deck. Turn a Witness. Okay. I still think my opponent's dead. Yeah, they're just, like, still dead on the board here. Because this is six. I just have to battle rage the one that they block. Nice. Both teams played hard. Uh, Moto was tweaking out there for a second. Moto looks like it's still tweaking out. All right. That was tough. That was a tough one. <clears throat> yeah, so I want to play... I just grabbed each one of these two Storm decks from a 5-0 list. Or this Amulet deck. This Amulet deck seems sweet. If we get, If we get to it. I actually really like playing. Um, one of my favorite decks to play <coughs> is uh, is Storm. I'm not very good at it, but I really like. I have a lot of fun playing it. Oh man, I thought I clicked over to it. Uh, one of the roll again. Nice. All right, we've got another good hand. So we're gonna keep this. I'm gonna hold my. I'm gonna hold my uh, Street Wraith until next turn because I might hit a Serum Visions and for some reason wanna cycle into another card that's not Death Shadow. I don't know why I would do that, but <clears throat> my top card's likely not going to change what I want to discard here. Okay. The Menace. Um, well, this hand's clunky. So clunky. I'm just going to take the Spreading Seas. This is going to be a tough one to win. This is, this is one of the worst matchups in the format for Death Shadow players. <clears throat> okay, there's Seagram Coast. They usually don't play Seagram Coast. That's tough. I'm going to fetch... Um, I'm going to fetch Blood Crypt, even though it gives them a chance to have my opponent take off a red source. I don't want to like, I want to thin my deck just to be able to cycle this. All right. That's not bad. So we'll get nasty down next turn. <coughs> yeah, this is, this is just about as bad as it gets. Okay, so they drew an island, so we know five out of the six of their cards. It's an awkward thing to do. So what's a two-man interaction here? All right, so I will start off attacking. Then I guess we're just gonna bobble them. So they're drawing an island, which is kind of, which is good for us. Um, and I think I'm just gonna delve fully here, or like leave as much of my graveyard intact as possible, so that if I hit a Snapcaster Mage, it's still alive. Jeez, <clears throat> they played the. I find that so awkward. They played the how they didn't play a tap land and then didn't do anything. 
Okay, so there's the colonnades. We know all six of their cards. They just have nothing going on. So they have Snapcaster Mage, Spell Snare, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 lands. So we're definitely just going for it. Like, we're going to play this other Shadow, and we're going to, like, we're going we're gonna to look to, you know, have them find a Wrath of God or Bust. <clears throat> they find a Path to Exile, then I'm going to throw up. But even if they find a Path to Exile, and they, then we put them to 1. Because they go path, snap, path on my death shadow, and they take five because of the push from the from nasty, from old nasty germasty. So no wrath, no wrath one time. Don't wrath me. Okay. So they scoop it up. <clears throat> Lucky there. Kind of an unfortunate draw from my opponent. but So against blue-white, I like the, these cards over here. Uh, I don't like Dismember. I don't like Battle Rage. I usually like to shave and Angler because they usually bring in Graveyard Hate. The Lightning Bolts aren't great. <clears throat> I find if I keep Fatal Pushes, and then if you com if you combine Fatal Push and uh, if you combine Fatal Push and whatever it is. Uh, Gosh, I can't think. If you combine Fatal Push and your Counter Spells, it's actually hard for them to just kill you. I found. This is good. Game's going to go long so we can cut a Street Wraith. And we're as interactive, as grindy as possible. Yeah, we got lucky there. I'm check on my dog for a quick second. There you are. You're good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. This hand's like not great, but these four cards are pretty good, so we're gonna keep it. No, I think I'd rather keep the street wraith for this interaction here. And plus, it's another thing to bring back with Colgon's command. Oh wow, they have ancestral visions. Yeah, and I've, got, and I've got two, you know, like two is enough to to have, I think. All right, we don't want Snapcaster Mage. Um, I guess I'm, I think I still I. I think I'm still going to save the Street Wraith. All right, we're going to put this on the bottom, and we're going to put this on top. <coughs> All right, so we draw. Now I can Serum Visions and look at... I get to look at five cards next turn for a land. My draw step, geez. Well, that's, I guess that doesn't matter that much. I get my draw step. Okay, so we hit a land. So, I think I'm going to fetch Watery Grave still. Alright, I don't really want... We got punished there. Um, God, my hand's so clogged up that all I want... I kind of just want to bottom this Inquisition and then just dig for lands. I think I'm gonna bottom this too. I have another look with the street wraith. One, two, three, four. Okay, like my hand, there we go. My hand's so 
glutted up. Okay. <clears throat> Look at here, another spreading seas. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, you have a path to follow it up, man. Don't do this to me. No, it's just another ancestral visions. Okay, so we're just gonna counter the first ancestral visions and hope that that does it. So do I want to play a discard or another threat? I think I want to discard spell my opponent. I doubt they have very much more going on. And I think I'm going to get a black-red at this point. This is poor sequencing for me, but it doesn't matter because they're tapped out. Okay, spreading seas, spreading seas. Okay, so now... Well, this sucks. Now I kind of just want to take a spreading seas and stub a spreading seas. Or I can just take a Spreading Seas. Or I can just take Cryptic Command. I'm just going to take Cryptic Command. I'm going to hope that they don't hit their land and that we can stub this Ancestral Visions. <clears throat> Alternatively, I could stub this Ancestral Vision. I could stub this... Um, I could stub the visions that comes down next turn, and I could looting. So if I stub this, I can loot and look for either a Snapcaster Mage, uh, one of my uh, my three Snapcaster Mages, or three stubs. I think I'm gonna stub this. I think we're gonna get aggressive. <coughs> They drew Path to Exile, then I get really punished here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's... That is how we drew it up. All right, so now we're actually just going to... And then I'm going to stub this Ancestral Visions. Yeah, that's another thing that I was thinking about. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this visions because we can't beat Land Wrath because their Wrath is likely likely Supreme Verdict, but we can beat like if they have another counter spell here to counter our stub, then we're not getting Wrath. <clears throat> and yes, they can find Path, but maybe they'll target me. All right, cross your fingers. And that's sometimes the out of playing these decks. Like, yeah, this is a pretty poor matchup, but you're just like a hyper-aggressive deck. And even if they were to path my Death Shadow, I guess now that, that's out of there. So they're just looking for path. Okay, so they found the path. So... If I draw a fetch land next turn, my opponent's dead. Because I just fetch from my red source, I attack them, and then K-Command them. So, yeah. All right, we did, we did draw quite well here. Um, I, I liked Friedman's List. I, I don't like... I don't think that it's right to cut the... Serum Visions from the deck. I think Serum Visions is too good, and Serum Visions even plays better with Bobble. <clears throat> oh god, I did my math wrong. I'm just I'm stupid. So, I know their hand, right? No, they have Teferi X. So because they have Teferi, I actually should just... I actually probably should just, well, no, I should play another Angler. Well, um, I don't know. Let me look for a Snapcaster Mage here. I miscounted. All right, so we're going to ditch that. 
we're going to ditch this, and then let's get rid of this, this. I did like how Friedman's list was like super, very, it was super aggressive, which I was a fan of. <clears throat> I think that the deck is good aggressive. I thought they were at seven. The Death Shadow was a seven, which put them, they were at nine, which put them at two, and the Colgon's Command was lethal. <clears throat> This is also why Ancestral Vision is, like, unplayable. Yeah, we can just F6 through this. Because, like, <clears throat> our opponents basically... I mean, at least their Ancestral Vision is traded with my Stubborn Denial, but how, how good is that? How good is that your card that you invested a mana in in four turns? I'm going to trade with my card that costs one mana. Not super sure how good that is. Yeah, I just didn't have it. All right, jump back in for third match. Looking to hit the three two, the three zero. I mean, which will probably turn into a three two. Oh yeah, I mean that deck was cool, but it was it was it wasn't actually that deck wasn't fairly casting visions. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna keep the sand. We have double cantrip. I'm gonna. This is a hand where I usually like to sandbag my street race, but if I don't draw a land, I'm gonna cycle my street race in order to better educate me about what color shock land I should get. Yeah. It's just a gimmicky combo deck. All right, we're going to see a Glade. Okay, bubble time. So I need to dig to Battle Rage and Stubborn Denial. That doesn't do anything. So let's start off with this. Okay, gas. So I'm going to fetch a Blood Crypt and Faithless Looting because... It's, it's totally, this is a matchup where it's totally, you don't feel the pain of Faithless Living and going down a card. Because we have two cards that essentially do nothing. Okay, so we're going to get rid of both pushes. Because Dismember can at least do something where it can, like, supercharge our Death Shadow. So it's much better than Fatal Push. And the life total, life total doesn't super matter. Because like often, like most times they're just killing us by like a lot. They're not like just barely killing us. Yeah, so I'm gonna stream the modern challenge tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna play this deck more than likely. Okay, it's a four-two. Our death shadow is already larger than that, or will be. God, I should just ban you from my channel. Risk it for biscuit, you savage. You're probably playing like the best deck in the format. Like I, I'm a huge, I'm a huge Tron fan. All right, so we're just gonna take this Daybreak Hornet. And do I want to shock myself? I think I do. Eight. Yeah. Tron is really good. Like, if I was going to play a modern tournament, probably for, like, put my life on it, I'd probably play Tron. So if we draw a Stubborn Denial, we're off to the freaking races. <clears throat> Oh my god. All right, risk it for the biscuit on the way out. Cuz cuz you're on the way out.
<laughs> I'm just kidding. You'll be on timeout whenever you want to come back. All right, now, now we're just going to dismember this thing and then go off here. But if I, I, I think Tron's really good. I think there are a lot of decks, a lot of people in the format think their Tron matchup is okay, when in reality, their Tron matchup is actually atrocious. Well, they think it's like 50-50, and it's really like 35-65. <clears throat> or they, they think they're way ahead, but it's really just 50-50. All right, that's sweet. You get to abyss away all of your creatures. This one comes back though, right? So I have to actually do some thinking. So what do I want to do here? Do I want to fatal push this core spirit dancer? I probably actually want to fatal push the core spirit dancer and then attack with one death shadow. Yeah, I'm on that plan. Then we're only attacking with one so that a random top deck enchantment doesn't kill me. And they still have to abyss this because this is a 3-1 trample. So any, like if they get anything that's like a plus two, plus two, they just kill me. Yeah, they just scoop it up. Okay, so against Boggles, we actually have a cool sideboard card that I haven't played a lot with. We got Engineered Explosives. Not a lot else. Stubborn Denial. Vendillion target player's hand. I'll put in this Vendillion click because it's probably better than like... It's probably just better than Fatal Push and Lightning Bolt. There's not really anything else that's any good. I've, I like the click a lot. It's really nice to K Command back. Um, it's a flash threat, which is always cool. I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan. <clears throat> a lot of people on stream are streaming tonight. A lot of arena streamers. Thought I updated my opponent's taking a while to sideboard. I'm sure you just sideboard in like Path to Exiles and Rest in Pieces. Or at least that's what my opponent should be doing. They could do something, they could bring in something like uh um what else would we get for them? Uh, they could have bring in something like they have like an energy f or what's that card? Suppression field. That's not bad. Who said the empire mentioned instead of click? So <coughs> I think it clicks better against combo decks and better against Tron. So that's why I like to click. I don't. I've never really liked the pyromancers, to be honest. All right. So this is a pretty explosive hand. It's not very disruptive, but if they mulligan to like a ley line, this hand's really good. Which they easily could just keep this hand and have ley line because they have four ley lines in their deck after sideboard. So I think I'm actually going to keep because it dips and dodges ley line. 
we got punished. They didn't have it, but we still could double cycle in to into a de into a death shadow. And if we hit a fetch land, then we can actually probably go what one two fetch is three. If we hit a fetch land, we actually might be able. To, if we can get another black land, we can go Gurmag Angler and Death Shadow on two. Yeah, I've been a pretty big fan of it. It's just disruptive. It's disruptive and it's aggressive. All right, that's gas. Um, all right, so we're going to take this Ethereal Armor. Armor gets out of control. It's kind of a weak hand from my opponent. I'll take the Trample. Like, it doesn't really matter. And now we really want a Black Land. I guess we are not going to be able to play Death Shadow and Angler next turn, regardless of what we do. I think I should have cycled one of my Street Wraiths. Probably would have been like an adult thing to do. Alright. So we don't know what they drew. Wouldn't be surprised if this goes get Dryad Arbor. Goes and gets Dryad Arbor. Um, so one, two, three, four. I need to hit another Street Wraith or two Bobbles in order to get this Gurmag Angler down. All right, we didn't do it. Um, so we're trying to get Blood Crypt, Serum Visions, one, two. I don't think I want any of these. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna play Amulet after this. There, Rafi. I played it once. I played it back when I had Summer Bloom for a little bit. That was pretty good. Um, I don't think I want either of these cards. I just want to make sure that this deck is what I want to do for the challenge tomorrow. Played it at your place, Johnny. A couple times. Never played it at F&M. Remember when we played it like three or four times? I died to the pact. I did do that one time. It was so savage. You totally, like, saw me. You you made the play. All right, I'm just going to do this now. Make them fetch awkwardly. Because they're probably going to hold this for Dryad Arbor, honestly. It, it was bad because of humans. Yeah, I thought it was actually pretty good. But you just couldn't beat the humans' decks. Uh, challenge is at 11 Eastern. I wonder if we're going to be able to go double angler next turn. Like, how many? I need 12 cards in my graveyard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nah, we're not even close. All right, that's, that's also good. So. Because if we likely, if we find a battle rage, the game's over. I'm gonna look at my top card. I don't think there's any real reason. If I if I find a stub, I'll just play a Death Shadow. So we have another Death Shadow coming. Um, so I fetch a basic, or don't fetch at all because if they have like a suppression, they have the pro creature one. The pro creature just what does that one do? That just gives it pro creatures. It doesn't give it plus anything. That costs two. And I know they have a Windswept Heath and a Razor Verge they get in their hand. So. There's pretty much all their stuff. The only cards that I wouldn't beat if they drew the Pro Creature one, and if they had that, was like a Hyena Umbra or a Spider Umbra. So. I might as well just play around another blocker. And then they'd have to have that for it to matter. So yeah, I think I'm just going to fetch a basic, play Gurmag Angler, and Death Shadow. Spirit Mantle. It doesn't give plus one, plus one. Okay, so... I might also just randomly spike the... Um, spike a stub. Like, I haven't hit one yet in the top 18 cards. 
So I'm going to attack with this Death Shadow, fetch an island, and then pass. Yeah. For sure, Raph. Yeah, so I was thinking after this, so I'm going to fetch my base, because uh, I don't want my top card. My top card's a Death Shadow. So let's just get this. Yeah, so I was either going to play Storm, Amulet, or Vintage Cube, depending on what anybody wanted, what the chat was interested in. I was just looking after the dog tonight. I was going to have a couple beers and hang out. All right. Didn't get it. I did, right? Right, Rafi? I, I did that, didn't I? I fetched the island. Plus, I'm crazy. I know these were sevens, and I made them eights, and I meant to do it inside of combat if I didn't. <clears throat> So I'm going to get Fetch a Dryad Arbor and chump out of this. But I'll just play my Fetch Land before combat and make them chump both. I remember that match, Johnny, like it was yesterday. The modern winner box down at, Graham, down at uh, Game of Craze. And I was playing that Naya Company deck, and I just, I could not, I basically had to mull on the block. You have a path. Okay. All right. So things get interesting. So I don't have a dismember in my. I don't have a dismember in my graveyard. That's my only out to this situation. Okay. So now I just attack, and then I play two Gurmag Anglers. I think. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I can actually fetch a tap land, go to 1, and... No, because these, I can tap, I can just play 2 mana for these, so I'm good. I only need 10. So just attack, they chump, play double angler, and then pass the turn. I guess I'll play, I'll hold up a Stubborn Denial. So he still has Razor Ridge Thicket in his hand. I guess I'll leave the Serum Visions. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just delve it all here. Dude, I put like 26 power on the board in four turns. Back in the day, you used to be able to put infinite power on the board in four turns, but they banned that. Wizards of the Coast didn't think that was cool. All right. So they're drawing, drawing path. They're just drawing for path to exile in order to chump. So... Doesn't really matter. All right, three and oh, six and oh, three oh, six oh, that's gas. Gasoline. Rafi, did you see that uh, Alex got the job at Wizards of the Coast? That's pretty sweet. We know a guy. We know a guy that can potentially that can potentially get cards unbanned for us. Underwater bimbo. Nice name. You know Paul Chion? 
Um, yeah, it seems okay. We're gonna keep it. Um, I'm gonna hold the street wraith in case I draw Serum Visions next turn and want want the top card immediately. God, another blue white deck. Um, as mopey as this is, I kind of just want to take their opt. Like I don't really want to take a six mana card right now, especially when I have a Snapcaster, so it's kind of mopey, but that is what it is. He gave us Jace, he will give us Preordain. God, you crazy man. I think Preordain probably be okay. I'm on I'm on team Preordain. We're one card off being able to get our delve on here. Alright. They're drawing a land, which sucks for them, but <clears throat> alright. Okay, so I could snap Thoughts He's the Terminus. That's pretty mopey. The problem is, is that I can't snap Thoughts He's on the third land. Uh, losing my losing my mind. What do they got here? So we're drawing another planes. One, two, three, four, five. So they played one. I got rid of that. They're drawing the six, seven. All right, we're just gonna get the angler down. We lose our Thoughts which is bad. I think it's pretty, yeah, I think it's pretty egregious that they have preordain, they have Ancient Stirrings legal, but preordain is banned. Like, Ancient Stirrings is the best cantrip on mod in modern. It's not even, it's not even remotely close. Tilt. This Snapcaster might be on flashing duty next, the end of this turn. Speed up this clock. I'm going to shock myself so that if I draw a Death Shadow, I can play it. Surprise my opponent didn't play an untapped land just so that they could uh, think twice. Because by my count, they have two planes in their hand. It's a Glacial Fortress. So I think I know all their cards. Well, no, I don't know two of them. Well, they just banned Grape Shot. Like... Like, Storm's miserable anyways, and they obviously have tried multiple times to ban that card out of the format. So, like, i got to move my light here. Like, just ban, just ban Grape Shot and then let the cool stuff happen. I'm going to attack first. They settle the wreckage? Oh, okay. I thought I was going to get Settle the Wreckage there. All the blue combo decks suck anyways. Oh, man. All right, damage. Get on the Snap Beats. All right, we got Blood Crypt. We don't want either of these. So I actually have not made a land drop this turn, so... I can turn these crap cards into something. So I actually ditch both of them because I have Snapcaster. So what do I want to do here? I kind of want both of these. And I kind of want to draw the Serum Visions and then draw the Death Shadow. So let's go... Put on top, put on top. One, two, three, four, five. One short of replaying nasty. That's where looting's great. Looting's great when you have the lands and you're playing like a game one where part of your deck's not very good. I don't really know how I'm going to deal with this terminus though. Hmm. That's not good.
But yeah, I still have your EE, and I'm still in a league, Johnny. I can get it back after this league, though, because I don't think I'm going to need them. Let me just pull this up here. I don't think I'm going to need it for the uh, for the next one. So I'm going to put both of these on the bottom. Because even if I play Amulet, Amulet's pretty cheap. Let me just check here. Um, what am I looking for? They played two planes. I don't. You probably don't even know their hand. Let me just load up here what the amulet deck would, is going to cost me. Um, load deck. Oh shoot. Amulet Titan. Yeah, the whole amulet Titan's underneath my my thing, anyways. If I make it in Sam's internet, hold up. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm going to unban preordain as long as Angel Stern's act. The colors combo decks are actually. Yeah, KCI and Tron. Um, so what am I doing? I can't really commit to the board because of this stupid Jace. Or because of this Terminus that I know is there somewhere. So I guess I'm just going to attack this Jace and pass. And then, like, flash in a Snapcaster Mage, I guess. Roth Computer. Nice, Johnny. You would stab Serum Visions, Rothy, but then there, there's, that just makes it so much more difficult for my Jace to get this Jace off the table. I've got two bolts in my deck. And I've got, I've got two bolts, and I've got three stubs. So I probably leave, or I can flash back looting. I haven't made a land drop. I think I'm gonna flashback looting. Oh, this sucks. So I'm just gonna dig for a lightning bolt. There is our stubborn denial. Oh, I should have. Now they're gonna put. Now they can fate seal this stubborn denial to the bottom. Because if I if I would have put it second, but then they would just keep it on top and I wouldn't draw it. Yeah. So here's the terminus. So now we can kind of unload our hand a little bit next the following turn, I think. Okay, so I go Snapcaster Inquisition play a threat. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Just see if I can force through. And they're gonna cryptic this, which is good, not great. I think these decks are bad. I, I think I think the spreading seas ones are much better because like at least spreading seas gives you a fighting chance against Tron. Um, we can get rid of the Seer Visions. We only have to leave one Seer. We don't have any K commands in our main deck, so we can just get rid of this. Get one angler down, then play this Death Shadow, and then hopefully they don't wrath us. Beating this Jace isn't gonna is gonna be tough. I mean, I'm, I'm likely super dead. They have nine cards in their hand, seven after they resolve this, and they have a colonnade. And like one supreme verdict and the game's just over. 
field of ruin is strip mine. Though one of these miracles decks did get me with a search for it's Kanta. Well, not a search, a uh, whatever it is, a the one from standard. Settle the wreckage. Yeah. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay, so so against this deck, I'm gonna bring in some explosives. One click. K command's probably not super great. It, it's only probably gonna get back Street Wraith, but making them discard a card's not bad. So it's like a maybe. These are pretty good because they can win the game. Cards I don't want. I don't want Dismember. I don't want Battle Rage. I don't want Bolts. I like to trim and Angler because they usually bring in some uh, counter spells. I like cutting one of the Street Wraiths because the games do go pretty long. And it can be kind of useless. So I can go those eight for these eight. That's pretty clean. I could cut like an Inquisition of Kozilek for Collective Brutality because they have more expense. They, it hits like Wrath, which is probably important. Like Inquisition doesn't hit as many high impact targets from their deck because they don't have Spreading Seas. They just like Search, Path, Snapcaster. This one hits all of those except Search. Like these, these both hit the same card. This one hits Snapcaster and Search, while this hits the big expensive cards like Crypt Command, Wrath of God. So I think I like that. I like the explosives. I, I, I don't really know actually how good these cards are, but I was playing against a Miracles build earlier that brought in Detention Spheres and Rune Halos. And, like, this was okay. And, like, maybe popping off a Surge isn't even that bad. This card started pulling its weight a lot for me. Like, when I started playing against a lot of, like... When the humans start moving to Oriok Champion, Engineered Explosives was gas. Even though that card is clunky, like the fact that it gets around protection and stuff like that is, is really nice. Let's this Grixis deck kill enchantments. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. I'm actually going to start off... I'm going to fetch a Blood Crypt and cycle my Street Wraith. I'm actually gonna well. I'm actually gonna cycle before fetching. Okay. Because I could have had a stubborn denial there, and it might be worth stubbing a uh, whatever the card is, a serum visions from my opponent. Okay, so this goes and. I probably can actually ditch one of my Snapcaster mages. Make sure I hit a land drop, and I can always pick one back up with Liliana. And it's currently not doing anything. Tilt. It's all right. I mean, like one of these lands is gonna be able to work with our flashback, which is pretty nice. All right. So we hit another Snapcaster. So we actually have all three of our Snapcasters kind of in our in an extension of our graveyard, which is pretty nice as long as we don't get rest in peace. Rest in peace here. So I'm not just going to jam this Liliana. I think I'm going to. So it's pretty inefficient to just thought seize. So I actually think I'm just going to K command my opponent. And then I can go like thought seize, snap thought seize if I need to. I'm gonna do it in their upkeep. There's no sense doing it in their draw step because they have seven cards in their hand. Um I wanna fetch a basic. It's just kinda like force action. It might. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't. All right. 
And they still just have seven cards. So, all right, there's their field. So I might snap the field off right on this Blood Crypt here. Yeah. Oh, we hit our island. What a tilt. All right. So my opponent could jace me. Yeah. If I, I should have been paying attention. I should have not done it there. Like, I just didn't want all this game to go long and be maybe at, like, such low a life total. But that was definitely a mistake. I definitely just messed up. So I kind of want to thought seeds because they could, if I could just tap out, play Liliana, they can jace me. And that would be pretty bad for the home team. Yep, so there's the jace. I think I'm just going to take jace. Take cryptic command. They have a spell snare, which is worth noting. Yeah, I was, just, I was just so worried about my life total, but like, I guess it's not going to ever be that bad. So they just hold. I guess they want to gain life, gain creatures out there timely. Man, timely is such a sweet card. And then I think we're just going to march this Liliana right up. Oh, I could play that. No, I'm just going to turn on there. Just going to turn on their timely reinforcements. And now we, we have a way to win the game. I would love an Inquisition of Kozilek. All right. So we're going to pass. We're just going to like tick up here. So you're going to go double death shadow. I know three out of the four cards, two out of the four cards in their hand. They just played that. They played the plane. So I know two out of the four. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go double death shadow. We're just going to put the clock on him. That was stupid of me. I should have waited to use that Liliana in case they had a Snapcaster for some reason. There's like nothing they could snap back right now that would matter, but... I'm just about to get Terminus. If they get Terminus, I'm probably going to snap Thoughtseize the Timely Reinforcements from my opponent. Yeah, I mean we we've we're putting a lot of pressure on them. Like we've got two grindy, two really good grindy cards, and we have a last hope that's just like sitting here, just like saying it's a, it's like a suspend. I win the game card. Yep. So there's a timely. All right. So another the spell snare. Okay. So we're just going to attack. We're going to put pressure on them from two separate uh, two separate angles here. I don't have a stub in my graveyard. What a tilt. We're 37 cards into the deck, and we haven't seen a stub yet. And I'm going to try to like snap Thought Scour at the end of my opponent's turn, and then that gets countered, and then try to do something like a snap um, thought seize on my turn. I probably shouldn't have played that Scalding Charm because I have a Faithless Looting in my graveyard. Yeah, that was stupid. Oh, man. All right, that's good. That just happens. Any order. Yeah, that was stupid of me to do that. Into a Teferi. Uh, okay. So we're going to flash in. Do I have a Watery Grave still in my deck? I probably need to fetch Shock before I...
All right, we're going to target this thought scour. And then get my other watery grave. All right. There's the stub. That's all right. They're probably going to minus on my Liliana. No, they plus. Holy shit. No, I guess that makes sense. They can just do this next turn. So they have Spell Snare and three other three unknowns. All right, flash this in. That's tough. That is tough. So we're going to get the spell snare out. Snapcaster mage. Jeez. Okay, actually, so I think my best play here is to go spell snare, flash in my. Let me see what they're drawing. Probably flash in my Snapcaster Mage. Hit. They're drawing a Colonnade. Jesus. And I haven't hit a... That's tough. I haven't hit a Death Shadow yet. Or I haven't hit a Fatal Push yet. But I think my best play is to... Snapcaster... Inquisition their... Their Snapcaster. Tick my Liliana up. Oh, this is so gross because they can. No, never mind. They can't do that. And then just hope to hit. Okay, so there's a Gurmag. Yeah, this is tough. Okay, so just hit that. I can eat this for zero though. No. Oh. Um, I guess I can looting. I have two pushes left. You can take the Lily down for the snap. But then if I take it down, they can just play this Colonnade and then plus the Teferi and untap it, right? But then I can make it so that if I... I did that because if I found a removal spell, attack this, push the removal spell, they have nothing. That That's why I did it like I did. Right, wrong, or indifferent. Nope. It's Colony, man. All right, GG's, GG's opponent. GG's. I guess if I would have milled, if I would have milled with the Liliana, I would have gotten two cards further into my deck. So my Faithless Looting would have been here and here, theoretically. I don't know if it was right or not. Like, I wouldn't, you know get super into whether it's right, wrong, or indifferent. Oh, jeez. This league's going quickly. They might be scared. No cards in hand. No plays. Oh, playing against Canister. Big fan, big fan. On the draw, I, like, sort of... I'm just so tempted to keep this, but, like, I'm going to be an adult. Okay, this hand's still pretty good. Uh, we're going to put that on top because it's going to enable our Death Shadow. And it's good play with the Bobble on turn one. I don't know, Johnny. Oh, we're playing against KCI deck. All right, well, we should have a pretty solid matchup here. We don't have a lot of disruption. And this actually messes with my... Uh, this Grove is going to mess with my Death Shadow. I think the only reason why the only reason why music is, are, is not illegal on streams is because they just haven't gotten around to it. Though. No. 
Because, like, it technically should, right? If it's illegal on YouTube, then it should be illegal on streams. All right, one, two. All right, they're going to ancient stirrings, and they're going to crack this. Green sphere again. All right. Let's thought seize. So it's just, we're definitely just taking this ironworks. So I actually cannot play my Death Shadow because he'll just kill it. So I'm actually going to end of turn bolt myself and then get the Death Shadow in next turn. Have it be large enough. Comboing with this dismember where I should be able to fight through. Um, I should be able to fight through this grove. Okay. Okay, so they play Terrarian. So they have a Scrap Trawler. There's the Chromatic Star. So I'm just going to now, now I can at least dismember the, the Scrap Trawler. So steam vents, bolt myself. Oh, we milled it over. That's okay. That is okay. Let's look at my top card here. Because if I like this top card, Germag. I actually don't think I want this angler. So because my shadow is going to be able to do enough damage. Especially if my opponent plays the scrap trawler and I get to yeah. So we're definitely going to be able to outrace this. I just need to bolt myself at the end of their turn. Okay. So I must be weary of like a counter spell. Or they're just looking to get the... Yeah, this is, this is interesting. I mean, they're busting all their stars before they have Scrap Challer or um, Ironworks in play. Which is, you know, kind of risky. I'm actually going to cycle in response to that. Okay. Okay, mirror retriever. So now I'm going to have to like start to think. Because mirror retriever plus scrap trawler is where everything starts getting gross. So whenever Mirror Retriever dies, return another target artifact in your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Now let me start off by Thought Scouring. Alright, so we're going to be able to put on one hell of a clock. Okay, so snap thought seize probably is what I want to do. And then this can fetch me basic. So let's go get basic island. This is kind of aggressive with my life. Oh, this is too aggressive with my life total. This is too aggressive with my life total. I messed up. I messed up. Yeah, that was stupid. So they have then explosives and ironworks. Jeez. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Oh, I super messed up. So I have to take this ironworks or I'm going to die. Ugh. 
And then they have to EE next turn. So then I'm going to be able to at least, um, like, dismember one of these. Actually, they can't make, yeah, they, they can make two mana. Yeah, EE for one. What's a law, Johnny? You just Google, you Google a non-copyright playlist, Johnny, and then you use it through, uh, through whatever it is. Um, gosh, I can't think. Through, wow, we still might, we still might be okay. So I might as well just dismember this mirror retriever. Alternatively, I need to get this mirror retriever out of here. You can just look through it through YouTube. I looked for a non-copyright playlist and I copied it into my Nightbot stream. Yeah, so I'm just going to force my opponent's hand. And then I'm going to kill their scrap trawler. Beat them for two. Get this back. Then next turn... Flashback, Faithless Looting. Ooh, they get back the Ironworks. Okay. I, I forgot that's not like... Uh, that's different. We were there, Terrarian also. So they're still going to be able to cast Ironworks... And go nuts with Icker Wellspring. Oh. So they can like mini go off here, but they don't have a way to keep it. I guess they have the Buried Ruins, so we're just like super dead because of the Buried Ruins. Because they just make mana, return the scrap trawler. They, they just they just drew the scrap trawler. So now they can return the mirror retriever. So they get chromatic star back. Play the star while they're drawing a card. I kind of just want to like message him and be like, okay, just don't be a jerk, just tell me when I'm dead. You know, because I don't want to necessarily, I don't want to take forever here, just like, waiting. But like, I, I think I'm dead now. Like, they have Scrap Trawler plus Mirror Retriever. Yeah. I'm not going to make him do this out here. Yeah, I'm not going to make him do it. So I get some good sideboard cards. Yeah. Once I put them both in play, I'm pretty sure that I'm dead. We have to restart Moto in between my leagues. So, Coligon's command's good. A braid is good. Stub is good, and click is good. All these counter spells are good. Um, Snapcaster Mage seems kind of slow. I feel like I want enough removal, but I don't need my fatal pushes. Because they don't go upstairs. This is my last match of this league, Johnny. If you, you know, want to hang on for however long that is. So you don't have to. I figure out what to cut. I don't think I need all of my Snapcaster Mages. I might not need any of my Snapcaster Mages, to tell you the truth. Like, this might just be a faster matchup than Snapcaster Mage. I should just try to get low to the ground. Um... These Colagon's commands might be too slow. I need to have three cards, and I don't see where they come from, which is the problem. I probably don't need Battle Rage. Uh, 
know, it's probably the lightning bolt or dismember. And dismember supercharges my death shadows. Uh, maybe I can just cut a command, actually. Because, like, being able to bolt myself against a four grove deck is kind of important. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like this. Yeah, we're going to give this a try. Yeah, well, you're not playing one minute eight eights, right? Okay. Uh, I gotta keep this hand. It's not great, but I've got like I've got answers to everything. I just need to figure out what. I just need a threat. So I think I'm going to bobble myself. I like my top card. I'm going to thought seize them. If I don't, I think I'm going to see visions. Blue Delta. I don't want that. So I go get steam vents, but I hate getting steam vents. Yeah. Because they draw a million cards after you 15 them, right? I can get steam vents or I can get watery grave. I'll just be an adult. I'll get steam vents and then I will... And we'll see our visions. Drawing the second bolt was not good. Um, I think I just need action. And the K command is just not going to find me action. So we draw our serum visions. What a forest. Just leads right off on it. Okay. Let's see what we have coming here. All right, we're going to put this on the bottom. We're going to put this on top. Maybe we're going to take Ancient Stirrings. Just like a more powerful card than Icker Wellspring. Wellspring's more mana intensive. So they play this Opal, Wellsprings. So now they have to counter my cantrip unless I thought sees them first, which is probably what I'm going to do. Because I could take this. It might be like a legitimate thing to take this card. Oh, they have double Ironworks. No way. So what does this do here? Counter target blue instant spell. And they're going to be able to ironworks me next turn. So I actually have to take this guttural response and then pass. And then reject the ironworks. Hopefully, I figure out a way to interact the next turn. Because on this board, abrading it's not terrible. What a handcuff we're in. I just need, like, if this produced a blue mana, we'd be all set. Then eventually it's just going to be able to make land drops and then turn this into something. Like he is right now. All right, let's... I kind of want to let it resolve, because he's not really doing anything with it. But if I let it resolve, he can then play the next one. So, because he just goes like, sack, sack, play another one. All right, that's not bad. All right, that is something. So I can't grow my Death Shadow in order to be able to... So if I hit a Fetch Land, I can play Death Shadow, fetch this. Nice. So let's put this... I kind of want both of these cards. So let's. But I will shuffle them away to 
stub this ironworks. It's worth noting that my opponent has another ironworks coming from this inventor's fair, even though that's pretty slow. This death shadow is not like a super quick clock. It's actually a hardly a clock at all because the engineer it's not a clock because the engineer explosives, which was stupid. Echo spring, echo well spring. I just zoned out on that, but I should have just held it. Then I could have abraded this thing. That was dumb. It's like they played this on turn one, and I just forgot about it. So might as well go like this. I can ditch this and a lightning bolt. <coughs> More than likely get this thing murked. Oh shit, I grabbed the long land. God damn it. Because now my opponent's just going to go off next turn. Yeah. I messed this last league. This last match of this league, I messed up pretty bad. Okay, so as soon as I get priority back, I'm going to kill this, abrade this thing. Because they're going to have to sack, like, generate mana, sack the ironworks. Or sack the inventor's fair and then go get. I don't know what they're gonna. They're gonna go get another one. But they're not gonna be able to play it this turn, so then our rejection's live again next turn. Yeah, I definitely muffed up there, not getting a, a, a blood crypt. Just let it go, okay. Well, they sacked it to themselves. Okay, wow, they just had the they had the third one. That's pretty brutal. That's probably game. The fact they had the fourth one. Yeah, we're just like super dead here. Finds a trawler. Trawler doesn't do anything at the moment, but. It won't take long for it to. Oh, there's a one coin launcher. Nice. All right. We're good. Okay. Let's get back to the deck here. Win three and two with it. Um,. That did not feel good, that KCI matchup there. Maybe I want another piece of interaction. Because, like, you would think a deck like this is a pretty solid KCI matchup. It's low to the ground, you know. It's kind of what you want to do. If you want to set a trade with me, Johnny, let me just make sure that I get the right one to card hoarder. Hang on. Let me just make sure that I don't trade you the one that I have from card hoarder. Let me just get the, get the version of it. Um, details. Alright, we're gonna set it out. So we'll be back for another league.